Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 1st, 2024. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SBCA of Anne Arundel County. I met a friend for dinner up at Langway's in that Davidsonville Crofton area, and I have to say, they do have some pretty outstanding wings. So if you are a wing person and you find yourself up that way, stop in. You may not regret it. Anyhow, we have some news, so shall we? The Maryland State Police are investigating a fatal pedestrian crash in Anne Arundel County. A 32-year-old woman was struck and killed by a Maryland State trooper. The incident occurred around 7.30 on Sunday night on Solomon's Island Road near Route 50. The preliminary investigation suggests that the woman entered the road unexpectedly and was hit by the trooper's vehicle. The trooper was not injured. He did stop and administered first aid before emergency personnel arrived and she was declared deceased at the scene. The investigation does continue, and the findings will be reviewed by the state's attorney's office. Anne Arundel County voters are invited to attend a Board of Education candidate forum on October 10th from 6.30 to 8.30 at the Village Commons Community Center in Gambrels. Candidates from Districts 3, 6, and 7, and 6 is here in Annapolis, are going to share their educational platforms and respond to community-driven questions. The forum is moderated by Dr. Tanya Milner, who is the provost at Anne Arundel Community College and hosted in partnership with the local civic and educational organizations. It's all put on by the League of Women Voters. This event does aim to provide voters with critical insights into the candidates' plans for the future of education in the county. I highly recommend that you attend. We heard some bummer news yesterday. Apparently, yesterday was the final day for Sophie's Crepes up in Saberna Park. Now, I'm not 100% sure what might replace them, but someone up there did tell me that it might be another crepe shop. So I guess there's that. Overall, that is a bummer because it was always a stop for me when I rode the B&A trail. However, the one down here in Annapolis on Craig Street is still open and going strong. Hey, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, I might suggest the Jess Fest 2024. It's a charity event honoring the legacy of Jess Strash Beard, and it's going to be held on Saturday the 5th at Fairview Farm in Davidsonville. The event runs from 3 to 7 p.m., and it's going to feature live music, food trucks, games, raffles, and a silent auction with all proceeds supporting cancer survivors through the JSB Love and Light Foundation and Respite Retreats. It's a really chill, small festival for a great cause honoring the legacy of a great woman taken way too soon. Tickets are only $20 and can be purchased online at eventbrite.com. Just search for Jess Fest. Denim and Diamonds is back. Luminous Health and Arundel Medical Center is bringing back the wildly popular fundraiser once again. The date? April 26th, 2025. So put that one on your calendar Denim and Diamonds went on hiatus in 2020 due to COVID and was replaced by a much more medically friendly fundraiser, a golf outing for a few years. But now it's back. And as we start to close, today is Ticket Tuesday. And I have a pair of tickets to see Avi Shapiro of NPR and Evening of Stories and Songs on Friday. Live Dead and Brothers, a celebration of the dead and the Allman Brothers on Saturday night. And then on Sunday, I have a pair of tickets to see Noah Gunderson with Abby Gunderson and Ledge's 10-year anniversary. You know that drill. If you want them, get in touch with me and they may be yours. But you do need to check out RamsHeadOnStage.com for all the amazing shows that are coming up. But you know what? That's not all. No, 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 no. I also have some tickets to the boat shows. I have two pairs to each show, so many thanks to the Annapolis Boat Shows for giving me some to give to you. And the same deal, if you'd like them, get in touch with me and I might pick you.
All right, that's a wrap. But first, a quick thank you to you for listening and sharing and letting your friends and colleagues all know about us and to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SBCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Hospice of the Chesapeake, Fish for a Cure, and Mac Medics. So now you just need to hang tight because George Young from DC MDVA Weather is standing by with the only locally forecasted weather report you need. And Sandy from Annapolis Moms Media is here with your local food finds. All that's coming up for you in just a bit. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. Freeze energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DC MDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DC MDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DC MDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, October 1st. More clouds and showers today and tomorrow for the Annapolis region as we kick off the month of October. But sunshine and really nice weather conditions will return to the area Thursday through the weekend. Look for highs today around 70 degrees with a slight northeasterly wind with tons of clouds and a pretty good chance for some additional rain showers. So plan accordingly if headed out to Camden Yards later this afternoon for the Orioles' home playoff game. While tomorrow will probably be mostly dry, there is, again, a small chance of an additional shower or two as clouds will remain in the mix with highs Wednesday in the mid-70s or so. From there, conditions will turn much nicer with a mix of sun and clouds expected Thursday with highs in the mid to upper 70s followed by sunshine Friday through Sunday. With highs Friday near 80 degrees with 75 to 80 on Saturday and then low to mid-70s on Sunday. As for any potential additional tropical storm development in the Gulf of Mexico region later this week or weekend, models are still showing some potential for some activity, but chances seem to be slightly down over the past 24 hours with modeling now showing very disorganized storm activity along the Gulf Coast with very little of it reaching into the southeastern U.S., which is a trend we hope continues over the next several days. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and X for updates each day, along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info, so you can always stay weather-informed. Fish for a day, party for a night, all for a great cause. Don't miss Fish for a Cure's 18th Annual Fishing Tournament and Shore Party, Saturday, November 9th at Safe Harbor, Annapolis. Register to fish and raise funds for the Cancer Survivorship Program at Luminous Health Anne Arundel Medical Center's Gayton and Joanne D. Cesaris Cancer Institute. All funds raised directly benefit cancer patients and their families. Register your boat or get your Shore Party ticket for fishforacure.org. Again, that's fishforacure.org. Stuck on trying to answer the dreaded question, what's for dinner? dinner? Local food finds by Annapolis Moms Media has you covered with family-friendly options that everyone will love. Whether you're planning a night out or grabbing something quick, we've got your dinner game sorted. This is Sandy with Annapolis Moms Media bringing you the local food finds in and around Annapolis. Looking to try something different? Check out Ja Kum Sung, a hidden gem off Ritchie Highway in Glen Burnie, serving traditional Korean dishes and Korean-style Chinese entrees. Start your meal with banchan, small side dishes like kimchi, pickled veggies, and fish cakes. Then try favorites like japchae, stir-fried glass noodles with pork and vegetables, and the delicious beef hot stone bim bim bop. A hearty mix of veggies, meat, and a fried egg served in a hot stone pot. 
The staff is super welcoming and the flavors are bold, making this a must-try spot. In more delicious news, Italian Week at Sweetheart's Patisserie starts today. From now until Saturday, October 5th, they're featuring hard-to-find Italian treats, including my personal favorite, cannoli cookies, along with classic pastries like cannoli, tiramisu, biscotti, and more. Don't miss out on the Italian celebration on this Saturday as well. And if Mondays aren't your favorite day of the week, the Lodge in Annapolis is here to help. Swing by for burger night with half off their Lodge burger, or bring the kids for Kids Eat Free Night, where it's one free kids meal per paying adult entree. That's all for today. For more local food finds and family-friendly events, visit AnnapolisMomsMedia.com. Enjoy your next meal out. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming, and determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, we want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive. And it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.